टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट ऑल राइट सो एनवायरमेंट इंक्लूड्स द थिंग्स अराउंड अस बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट एट दैट टाइम विच थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडिंग एंड वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट द सम टोटल ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल्स ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशंस एंड अदर फोर्सिस दैट आर आउटसाइड द कंट्रोल ऑफ अवर बिजनेस और एंटरप्राइज बट दैट मे अफेक्ट इट्स परफॉर्मेंस सो हियर वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट इंक्लूड्स दोज थिंग्स और दोज फोर्सिस दैट आर नॉट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ अवर बिजनेस एंड इट इज अफेक्टिंग अवर बिजनेस like when we talk about individuals these customers are their competitor is their supplier is there they have a direct they have a impact on our business institutions like a uh, government is there court is there and forces like uh, economical environment social environment legal environment political environment technological environment so all these things that are not in our control not in a control of business enterprise but they are affecting the performance of business so they are constituting the business environment so in short what we can say business environment means the things which are not in control of business but they have a effect on business okay let's take a example here if the customers the taste is changed they have a direct impact there is a impact on our business is government is changing tax at that time also our business will be affected and these things are not in control of our business that's why they are a part of business environment all right so let's try to understand its features now its feature first one is totality of external forces as we have seen in the definition only so business environment means totality of all the external forces which are not in control so it may include the customer supplier government economic uh, economical uh, forces social environment political environment and all this environment totally is called business environment second one is specific forces and general forces that means in business environment two types of forces we can see let's try to understand with the help of diagram so this is a uh, this i have made uh, for you for a better understanding so you can see business is here on the center production finance marketing personal all these things are in control of business so they are not constituting business environment so outside what we have here specific environment that means specific forces what is a feature of this specific forces specific forces have a direct impact on our business like competitor government customer creditor employee owner investor supplier if they are they are changing their if they are change they are changing their attitude there will be a direct impact on on our business that's why they are called specific environment all right now other one is general environment or general forces in general forces economic environment social environment technological environment political environment legal environment international environment these things are including in general force or general environment that means these factors have a indirect impact on our business specific force means they have a direct impact general force means they have a indirect impact on our business so in business environment both of these things are including let's go move to next that is interrelatedness interrelatedness means the uh, whatever the factors including in business environment they all are interrelated like if government is increasing tax at that time people will people will get less amount at that time they have a, they will get less amount for the expenditure and by that way they will there will be less demand in the market so these things are interrelated the factors which are including in the business environment they are interrelated let's take a one example suppose now the people are very they become very health conscious at that time what happened they will demand for the health products and services like what they will ask they will ask for the fat free cooking oil they will ask for the health resort they will ask for the gym 
they will ask for the new health products and services like that way they want to change their lifestyle so we can say that all the business environment factors are interrelated next is dynamic in nature so as we know that business environment is changing all the time they are changing specifically in the case of technology they are changing all the time and other way we can talk about the fashion fashion it is also changing all the time so whatever in environment we are doing business the nature of business environment is what it is changing all the time so new te technology is coming new competition is coming new consumers are coming consumers are shifting from one place to another place one product to another product so like this way this environment that means the business environment is changing all the time and it has a it is a dynamic in nature next is uncertainty when we talk about uncertainty that means we cannot predict we cannot predict about the business environment big why because it is uncertain we don't know what is going to happen in future specifically we can see it is the uh, the uh, technological changes is uh, frequently we can see frequently it is changing in the case of information technology in the case of fashion industry or in the case of uh, political matters or social matters so many things are there but why this feature is here in the case of business environment because we are not able to understand what is going to happen in future that's why business environment is uncertain we can say it is not predictable next one is complexity complexity means what is meaning of complexity that means it is very difficult to understand if you want to understand the uh, business environment it is very very difficult why difficult because there are many forces many forces are they are constituting the business environment so if you want to understand it is very difficult to understand uh, to in totally you are, it is very difficult to understand separately you can understand that government has changed this policy consumer is changing their preference or interest rate is increasing or interest rate is decreasing or new social trend is coming all these things are easy to understand separately but when we talk about what will be the overall impact on our business it is not easy to understand that's why it is called it is a complex next one is relative relative means business environment of every place is different like business environment of japan is different usa is different and china is different so we can see that business environment of every place every region or every area is different from each other that's why it is called relative to remember all this topic the one word i have find out that is cruised by with the help of this cruised word you can easily remember the all features of business environment like here c is there c means complexity r means relativity u means uncertainty i means interrelatedness s means specific and general forces e means uh, e means uh, totality of external forces d means dynamic in nature so like that way you can easily remember all these features thank you